Hi you guys, my name is Loren and today on Simply Loren we're going to be doing a paint with me. First I'm showing you here the sketch of what I started off with and then how it turned out. Unfortunately the very first video that I was trying to transfer over from my iPhone to my computer got destroyed along the way and so that's why you don't see me painting the red parts of the balloon but I do have the rest of the footage and I figured you know what I'm just gonna post it anyway and then on the next one I think I figured out why it happened so I hope that that doesn't happen again but here we are anyway and the reason I wanted to paint with you guys today was because I feel like I haven't actually had a chance to show you guys the more creative side of myself. I really love anything pertaining to the arts or music. I'm super passionate about it and I think I've just been kind of nervous to show you guys um, what I do because I feel like I'm a beginner and I don't really know all that much but you know what I think I realized that you just got to start somewhere and so here I am starting. Um, as you can see on this hot air balloon, I'm pretty much just painting the basket um, with different browns that I mix together uh, using red, black, green, and all the other colors I could think of to make a brown. And then I'm just outlining the basket with a little bit of black to make it a little bit darker. Um, the reason I wanted to paint a hot air balloon is actually because it's part of a collection that I'm working on called We Can Go Anywhere and I really thought that the hot air balloon was a great thing to use to symbolize reaching goals that seem impossible because when you actually go back and look at the history of the hot air balloon you learn that it's the first uh, air travel that we ever had and at the time obviously nobody thought that would even be possible and yet here we are today flying you know jets and rockets and things like that so I just wanted to share kind of the reasoning behind why I wanted to paint a hot air balloon and I'm planning on creating more pieces to go in this collection soon, but I just wanted to start off with the hot air balloon because I felt like doing that today. I think I make art a lot of the times to inspire other people, but mostly just to de-stress and kind of get my creative juices flowing. And I do plan to sell my art, but I haven't figured out the best way to do that yet, so for now I'm just focused on creating. Um, if you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them on the comment box below, that way I can check it out. Anyway, back to the painting. <laughs> Here I am just adding yellow to the balloon. It's pretty simple. I'm actually using these paints that I bought from Target today. I don't actually love them. It's not the paint itself, although it does dry very quickly, so I learned you kind of have to work pretty fast. But what I actually don't like about them is that they are um, open-lidded, like they don't have a pump or like a squeezy tube they come in like these bottles and that kind of makes it hard when I'm pouring them out to make sure that I don't waste any paint especially since a lot of times I try to mix the paint together to make new colors um, and as you can see on my paint plate there's a lot of excess paint so I'm gonna have to figure out how to use that in another piece most of my art is actually made from things that you can find around your house or things you would have thrown away. I've definitely been guilty of, you know, going dumpster diving and picking up pieces of old furniture that people didn't want or cardboard that people were going to just throw away and trying to make them into new things. In fact, one project I'm working on right now is learning how to make a canvas out of newspaper and a cardboard box. Um, I'm kind of experimenting with different ways to do that and trying to see what the best way to do that is and so I'll be having a video up about that pretty soon. <laughs> and I do that because it's important to me not to waste materials, especially after working with the homeless I've been inspired to save and use as much as I can possibly use before throwing things away. There's so many things that people have to live without on a day-to-day -day basis that a lot of people um, take for granted and I just want to be more thankful and more mindful of the way I use material. As you can see now I'm just adding the blue sky background. At first I had some clouds drawn out on the picture but I ended up just deciding to paint the whole thing blue and then make uh, clouds using this technique I learned while I was volunteering with the homeless. In retrospect maybe I should have painted the whole canvas blue first but honestly I really didn't think of that so oops. But I feel like it still turned out pretty good anyway. Pretty much the end of the video. Um, here's kind of how it turned out. And I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was different from what I normally do. But thanks for watching. And love, Loren.